What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So WPX Hosting had a major outage the other day and it caused the website creativepro.com to be down for an astounding 12 hours costing me hundreds of dollars. Uh, so that website gets organic traffic from Google, and then I make money from advertising and affiliate marketing. And I also use that URL for affiliate marketing purposes here on this YouTube channel. And so I send all my affiliate marketing links through websitecreativepro.com to keep track, to see what works and et cetera. And so when the website is down none of those links work, and so again, like 12 hours, thousands of people clicking on the links and they're just hitting a 404 page. It was quite a disaster. So in this video, I wanna share with you some ways to keep track of your website's uptime because your web post is not necessarily going to tell you. It's not really in their interest to let you know when your website is down. That's kind of on you because again, like if your website's down, you're not going to be a happy customer. And so there are a lot of free tools you can use to just keep track of uptime for your web post. Anyways, what are some different websites to keep track of uptime let's get to it number one is uptime robot so uptime robot has been around for five plus years they are an old school choice and if you want one that's like a name brand they've been around a long time they keep track of a lot of different websites uptime robot is for you so let's scroll down here. So they have over 4.8 million monitors. Now it doesn't necessarily mean like websites because with Uptime Robot, you can keep track of different things. It's not just websites. Websites are one part of that and over a million users and companies. And so you get website monitoring, SSO certificate, then port and ping monitoring, and then heartbeat monitoring. So you can send a request to check and see if it arrives on time. Great way to monitor recurring jobs or internet devices connected to the internet, whatever. All you have to do is just sign up for free. That simple. You just click here to register for free. And then it will redirect you to this form and then just fill out your information. So yes, I'm Elon Musk and like, yes, Elon at Tesla.com. <laughs> Anyways, just go ahead, fill out the form, sign up. Once you sign up, you're going to be over here in the dashboard. So it is a little bit dated. They haven't updated this dashboard in five years. It's been a long time, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. And so right over here is where you can add in a new monitor. So you just click this button right there, then monitor type, click the drop down right there, and you wanna monitor HTTPS, okay? And then we want a URL, then put your URL in there, then the monitoring in interval. You can, uh, if you want it to be every like minute, you gotta upgrade your plan, but you can set it to every five minutes or you could have it every 24 hours, totally up to you. Obviously this is a website, so you kinda wanna be notified every five minutes is just fine. But if you need more than that, like monitor SSL errors, enable SSL expiry reminders, then the pro version available. But again, if you just need basic website monitoring to get a report back for like when your website is down, this is perfect. So just fill out the information right there. And then the inf then the uh, information or the alert contacts, notify, etc., will be sent to whatever email you add over here. And that's it. And so right over here, you're going to eventually over time and generate a nice little report of your overall uptime within the last 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, et cetera. So I personally have used Uptime Robot in the past. I like Uptime Robot, so that's why I'm recommending them that you check them out. And again, completely free. All you want is just to monitor a website. This is a great choice. So anyways, that's number one, Uptime Robot. Number two is HetrixTools.com. This is an uptime and blacklist monitor, free uptime monitors, and 32 blacklist monitors, free forever. Sounds good to me. Now, if you're like, what's a blacklist monitor? Well, this is just something for people who are running some type of network. So for example, like email marketing, you don't wanna have a client that's spamming everybody because that'll lower the deliverability rates for everyone. And so that's why you kind of want to monitor an IP or a domain name because you don't want a few bad clients to ruin your network's reputation, literally, as they say. Uh, but we're managing a website. So what we more care about is this uptime monitor feature over here. And so again, you get 15 uptime monitors at a one minute interval, free forever. So it's a view of their pricing plans. So if we come down here, they have a free plan, free forever. And for most people watching this, I think this plan is totally fine. But if you do need a little bit of a level up, you know, something a little bit more like select locations, you need, need different locations than just the four basic ones you get with, uh, et cetera. You can kind of scroll through this on your own, uh, you know, like no activity requirement, multiple payment methods, like, you know, just it's way more in detail. But again, if you just want to, hey, hey, send me an email when my website's down, the free plan is for you. So anyways, let me just navigate to the dashboard. So again, create an account completely for free. I'm not going to insult your intelligence on how to sign up for something. Once you sign up to Hetrix Tools, you're going to be looking at your dashboard, which looks like this. Yes, it's a little bit dated, but hey, if it gets the job done, totally fine. 
Now you want to, you can navigate to each section right up just by clicking these boxes. So for example, I want the uptime monitor. So which we'll navigate to this section of our dashboard and right over here is where you can just add in a new monitor. So right there, I have website career pro uptime hundred uh, percent added it two hours ago. So if you add in a new monitor, you just click the plus sign there, click the drop down, and then website monitor. There we go. Then just fill out this form as appropriate. So like the website link, the monitor nicknames, just so you know what you know it's talking about when you get an email saying, Hey, WCP is down whatever and that's it okay then the contact list right there it would be sent to the default contact list and then you only get four uh locations again like they just said in the free plan so just pick four that you like if you're trying to do five i'll just say hey you can only select four uh again for me that's not a big deal because with an english speaking website in general like maybe like new york san francisco london sydney that kind of covers most bases in most parts of the world where i really care about where my traffic's coming from Anyways, when you're ready, just go ahead and click add monitor and that's it. And so you're good to go. And so now you just have this quick little report there. And then when your website's down, Hetrix Tools will send you an email reporting that your website is down. Anyways, that's number two, Hetrix Tools. And number three is Manage WP. So this is not necessarily only an uptime monitor service. What Manage WP is, it just allows you to add multiple websites and then you know manage all your websites from one dashboard. And so why would you want to do that? Why not just log into your website? Well, yeah, you can. But once you start having like three, four, five different websites, it can get a little bit annoying trying to stay on top of everything, trying to keep everything updated as well as server uptime, just all the little details that go into managing a self-hosted website. And so WP Manage allows like a solo content creator just to stay on top of everything. Now to get started is very simple. All you have to do is enter in your email and sign up. Now, as part of the signup process, you have two ways to attach your websites or connect your website, whatever you want to call it. Now, I suggest using the plugin, which is called Manage WP Worker. So just go ahead and install this completely for free. And as once you're done installing it, you're going to have Manage WP within your account. And then you just go right here to Connection Management. And then this is where you get your connection key. So as part of the onboarding process, you know, you're going to have that connection key uh, up and it's going to ask you to add it. And so once it, once you add it, then your website's good to go. And right here is what your dashboard will look like. So again, just one website, but this is for people with multiple websites, so website, 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 etc. And so you can add in another website just by clicking this plus button. So so anyways, let's jump in to this and then just gives you a broad overview about what you need to do. So updates, everything's up to date, optimization, everything's optimized, uptime monitor. So unfortunately, uh, what Managed WP does for a lot of helpful services is that they do keep some things behind a paywall. So just know that if you're going to go with Managed WP, it does cost a dollar a month. I mean, that's not it's a dollar <laughs> like you spend more than that on coffee every single month so you know to keep this uh you know the website uptime monitor going for a dollar a month i think that's pretty reasonable twelve dollars a year so anyways you go here to activate and then you just activate this add-on and again with managed wp you have a bunch of different other options over there so performance uptime monitoring seo ranking client reports etc so like easily monitor your website's rankings, activate SEO. So again, another dollar a month. So not that they nickel and dime you, but they do keep the really helpful stuff behind a paywall. Fair enough, because, you know, again, you got to make money some way. But anyways, if you're looking for a helpful way to manage multiple websites and enable some type of uptime reporting, SEO reporting, uh, all like themes, plugins, all the little details that you need to know in order to stay on top of multiple websites, then I definitely recommend you check out Manage WP. So anyways, that's number three, Manage WP. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on how to keep tabs on your web posts so you can track the uptime internally with your own analytics and reports using one of these tools and services. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Anyways, I just wanna emphasize that this is very important. Even if you're paying a premium price for a web host, you do wanna keep tabs on it because the whole issue with WPX hosting is that they said that there was some issue in their collocation center in Chicago. So a collocation center is like WPX hosting has their own servers, but then they just have the server at this collocation center and steadfast.net manages like the infrastructure for the servers 
I don't know, there was some type of issue that caused a bunch of different websites, including mine, to be down for five plus hours. And again, I wasn't notified or anything. And, and that's why you wanna keep tabs using one of these tools and services because you wanna be on top of it because sometimes your web post is not gonna contact you and be like, hey, your website's down. It's not in their interest to do that. It's kind of your responsibility. So that's kind of like why you want to keep tabs on your web host performance. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll leave it there. My name is David from WebsiteCreatePro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.